You say that you felt like tonight wasn't your night early this morning. Was it something specific that happened? You just wake up someday and it's not your day. I can't tell why. It wasn't just my day. Again, that's not taking any credit out of uh, Joshua. He did a great job. Came here and win. So. After the first knockdown, did you feel like you would be able to recover? What was going through your mind? Um, I was... I mean, I was recovering in my mind was that I, I was going to recover, but um, I don't know. Again, wasn't just my day. I know that the, the, the fight wasn't long, but what was your game plan going in? Huh? I know the fight didn't wasn't long, so you didn't really have a chance to execute it, but what was your game plan going in? Well, the game plan was uh, to let him go because even... Um, to, to check to check the ground for the first first round first two rounds and then uh probably after that start pick up you know basically like uh keep a lot of footwork move properly but i was yeah that was the game plan keep a lot of footwork work from uh from the distance what was the difference between anthony joshua and uh, tyson fury you know um I'm not going to take anything from Anthony Joshua. He did a great job. And I think um, even if I was different, I think maybe things was would have still be the same. But this wasn't my day. I woke up today and I felt like this wasn't my day. What? Can I just Everything. That, yeah. We need to not forget that he come across to boxing. Yeah. None of these guys are going to want to go across to MMA. He's a champion and always will be a champion. I don't think anybody's going to be lining up to fight you. Thank you. I don't think anybody's going to be lining up to fight you in boxing either, to be fair. You've, uh, you're still a very dangerous man. Is boxing something that you might continue to pursue? Absolutely. I think not right now um, I have like an obligation to continue because he, he, he owes me now. You know, I think boxing owes me now and I really intend to collect. And lastly, for the people in Cameroon, all the people of Africa, the people even in the MMA sport who have looked up to you and really appreciate what you've been able to do for yourself and the sport, uh, a message before you go home and relax. Well, uh, a message would be that um, I appreciate the support again, um, as always. And then, um, as always, I will come back. You know, uh, this was the fall. I lost the battle tonight. But the war is still on, you know, and at the end of the day, it's just a um, matter for me. I think uh, the most victory for me is to uh, continue fighting. And the defeat is not actually losing the fight. The defeat would be like quit, uh, quit from mid or let it uh, get to you. For me, thank you for two incredible events and your time and your grace. Appreciate it. Radio Rahim with Francis Ngannou. Okay.